An opera about bum Phillips? You gotta see and hear this next on NFL Films Presents. Like opera, football has elements of drama, comedy, and tragedy. As did the life of beloved Houston Oilers head coach, Bum Phillips. The Oilers had come up with a brand new head coach that nobody ever heard of. A good old boy named O.A. Bum Phillips. Unlike the suit-clad coaches of his era, Bum was a Texas cowboy who remained true to his roots and his boots. We might as well run it. Yep. Let's run the bum rooski. Huh? Run the bum rooski. Oh, come on, hell fire! Now you can't do that. If you do it, I'm telling you, you're going to have more hell over it than a little bit. They say the harder we played, the behinder we got. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> he treated his team like family and valued his own. Houston fell in love with him, even though he could never dismantle the Steelers' dynasty. The Steelers have won the AFC Championship again. Bum Phillips never made it to the Super Bowl, but 30 years later in New York City, he got himself an opera. You hear, you know, opera that is about football, <laughs> and you go, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait. I did taste fire, so it's not entirely true. Bum Phillips and opera, th those are two opposites. That ain't funny. It wasn't meant to be. I admit, you know, I, 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 for other people, I thought maybe it, it might seem weird, but it wasn't intended as a gimmick. It's about defying expectations, shaking things up. I think Bum did that. So tell whoever's responsible for watching the son of a bully. He really couldn't sing, <laughs> much less opera, but he, he had a hard time keeping the beat. What a thing. I think maybe it works because Bum was such a character that appealed to the human side of the game. And opera is a snapshot of life. It's an epic portrait. It made sense to me. Mom says, what is this? Dad says, a memory. The structure of the opera, it's a memory play. It starts out from, uh, there's a, a childhood memory of a picnic where we discuss the myth of his name. My dad always said they, ca they called me bum because my s sister stuttered and couldn't say brother. Sister, she stuttered. The real story was that he got stung by bumblebees, and in the country they call them bumblebees, and his mother always called him Bumble, and then his sister cut it to bum. From that day forward, they only called me bum. And then the announcers help us fast forward to 1979. Welcome to Three Rivers Stadium. You think about football plays, I mean, most football plays are short. Earl Campbell runs, he hits the line, he struggles and gets seven yards, and then it's over in three seconds. Are you worried about Earl Campbell? No, uh -uh. Are you worried he's out of gas? Oh, give me that ball! The music reflects that in a lot of ways where it sort of lurches forward. And then it sort of relaxes. I knocked you back, I knocked you back. So there's that sort of feel too, where it's a herky-jerky. Now you can't do that. 
the officials do not have the luxury that we enjoy of seeing that instant replay. The man on the spot didn't see it, so he couldn't call it. And now the Oilers are denied a touchdown. I'm telling you, they calls out of play. When we get to that point, there's this sort of unique moment of true opera tragedy. The Steelers have won the AFC Championship again. You really see his pain and the um, vulnerability that comes through him. But the real Bum Phillips had no regrets. He never looked back on any of that and said, well, you know, I, I missed something. It wasn't like, you know, I've got to win the Super Bowl. He was more like, I've got to get the players to play as good as they can play every time. Make that back or that step back. He can't step up, and then we'll get it. He always looked forward to the next day. It's such a great tribute to my dad. Uh, not many people have an opera named after him. I think Don Giovanni did, but that was in 300 years ago, so. <laughs> I think probably when it's all over and done, he'd probably say, well, it was a good time here in New York, but I think I need to go back and feed the cows.